Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're going through Loki level 80 at the moment and we're gonna go through tier 4 into this video in the same time but uh, you know we're gonna do the upgrade actually and yes Loki guys everyone was waiting for him he came into the game and what he provides and what he's not provides is he like the Luna Snow of Universals no, I don't believe that. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you what I believe about him. I'm test him on ABX, on ABL, on GBR, and on World Boss Legend as level 80. I did really high stage on World Boss Legend. I did like stage 80 of Ultron and he's level 80 character. So it's really hard to do this kind of stages with uh, non-tier force. And I'm gonna show you how he's performing into that stage. And also ABL and ABX compared to his performance at level 70 when I have this record on my live stream the other day, like two or three days ago. And yes, after that, uh, some GBR just to see where what do you uh, what you could expect from the character. So before we go through the gameplay and before I show you the build on the character I have right now, Make sure guys that you have smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel and comment down below in the comments what are you going to do with Loki and if you are going to build him. And yes, in my mind the reason for someone not to build Loki right now is having Black Bolt tier 4 and Thanos tier 4 full PV both of the characters. If you have that, you know, Loki seems like a skip. So let's go through uh, the builds I have right now. I'm uh, missing a bit of critical damage, I just noticed. But uh, yeah, I had already this audience blessing because Loki used to be meta on uh, the game. And because I tried during the live stream for the raids here uh, to do it brilliant and it was a success. Yeah, I have a brilliant rage on him. Yeah, I know, I know it's unrealistic. Most of you are not going to have a brilliant rage on a level 80 character, but it is what it is right now. So yeah, whatever you see, remember that your Loki perhaps has normal rage, perhaps has something else. But yeah, the thing that gives him the opportunity to be uh, the best character for uh, PV, PV, ABX and ABL specific, it's his fifth skill. His fifth skill uh, depends on how many enemies you have against you and with a maximum of five enemies, if you have like five enemies and the beast or five enemies and the shirter, uh, the damage you're doing are, you know, enchanting itself, the, its hit you're doing, its explosion gives extra damage to the other's explosion, so you're doing uh, more damage if you have more enemies around you with a maximum limit of five so it's really weird to play with him he's really hard to go through his rotation and stand still there and wait uh, but if you learn it it's really easy you literally have to go around you know work uh, you know move around abx and abl having a shorter or beast and the ads follow you and as soon as all together a ball up you're doing a really quickly uh, 3 cancel 5 cancel 4 you're letting your fourth skill place until the end and after you're doing your second and your first skill but yeah let's go into the gameplay and show you his rotation because at the preview sucks and yeah you need you need to see specific ABX ABL different strategies and World Boss Legend, different strategy, different rotation, GBR, same thing. So yeah, let's start from somewhere and let's start from ABX and the day you could use him as a villain character, uh, villain universal, I think. Yes, it's un universal villain and the best team for him, it's Proxima Leadership, Morgan Le Fay with his last uniform, the paywall on as a support and uh, his damage. As you can see here, my first rotation was without the ads and I'm doing it because it works better for me uh, how the, you know, how it goes. But later on, you can see, 
I'm running around waiting all the ads to come close to the boss and after I'm doing the three cancel five cancel four and this rotation guys it's so specific you don't want to do anything else if you do anything else the damage is going to be way less I have done already 5.3 million and I'm at the first 40 seconds of the fight look at this and after 10 seconds I did 1.5 extra million and here, because I know the beast is going to the moment that he's going to roar, uh, I'm doing my rotation, letting the fifth skill place because your fifth skill needs a bit of delay. Uh, you know, after you hit your fifth skill, it takes like one or two seconds to enable the burn effect on the boss and cancel the roar. So you need to be aware and use your fifth skill just before, uh, you know, uh, the beast starts the roar so you can have it on the time of the roar. Uh, and this, the burn stays down, so even if you do it earlier, you can have it all the time. Your tier 3 skill, it's kind of useless, and it's really sad because we had so much opportunities from the season 2, so, you know, if they could drop a tier 3 skill that actually helps your rotation, it could be way better, but still, it is what it is, so, as you can see, I'm cancelling really fast, here I did delay my fifth skill and that's why you don't want to delay it. I lost the cancelling so the run it's not like the perfect run. I uh, beast took the shield but because this shield is breaks really easy the first and the second shields doesn't really matter. The third roar is the one that you want to do every single time on this burn season uh, because the boss uh, you know, build this shield that takes too much time to go against. Uh, as you can see here, he starts jumps, uh, but he's not jumping, and I lost some time here going around. But uh, later on, the boss went there. See, there it took me like one or two seconds for the fifth skill to kick, and I'm already at 13 million, and we're talking about a level 80 character right it's not tier 4 and still i was able to collect all the collector tokens and this is the goal in my mind on every single player right now you need to collect all the rewards from the the token uh you know the small collection token rewards that you're getting here and the medium collection tokens rewards that you're getting for the team up collection and in the same time on the ABL you're gonna aim every single time for the tier 4 materials you know because they give us uh, this way to farm uh, the team up collection so everyone should have at least the first 1% of peers uh, without even investing on the uniforms because they are giving you the tokens you can go there and abuse the system and get some extra stats for your characters so as you can see here it's 14.3 for level 80 Loki uh, and ABX Universal Day. I have already Jean and I can't compare him with the best character I'm using right now, which is Jean, but I can compare him with the performance of level 80 Ghost Rider on his best day and compare him with his self at level 70. And that's how it looks like being Ghost Rider level 80. As you can see here, it was like one month ago on my video with Ghost Rider Halloween. And at level 80, I was able to pull out 12.5 million. Of course, Ghost Rider didn't have a brilliant raid, but still it was a mighty raid, I think. So uh, yeah, the difference, it's like big 1.4 against uh 1.2 1.43 against 1.25 it's a big difference and has nothing it's not only the cdp uh in the same time ghost rider here has the best team that he can has you know with ghost panther and robbie reyes this is the best team up to use for uh no restriction day also with loki it's not the same situation if you get an even better no restriction day uh team up and not the team up i was using you could do even more than 14.3 Another thing is that in my live stream I was able to pull out 14 million with a same build at level 70. So you can see level 70 to level 80 is not adding a lot. 
at least for ABX and the difference it's so small it's 14.39 against 14 and of course when I did the live stream it was like my first time playing with Loki so now I'm a way better player using him Let's go through the other game mode that it's pretty basic for the character and here you don't want to spend a rotation and do before uh, have all the ads again. So I was waiting for the ads to come close to shorter before I'm using my rotation. As you can see, you're losing a lot of time walking around the stage to gathering up all the ads instead of doing damage. And that's totally legit. You don't really care about how many times you're gonna charge your tier 3 because your tier 3 is not adding a lot the point is to drop as many rotations with the ads close to the boss if you do that you're gonna have a great success and a great score every single time but if you try to abuse the rotations if you try to drop more tier threes you're not gonna see any results here i was um kind of out of target and i didn't hit full shorter but still uh it's not the perfect runs for sure you could do yourself better if you play like four or five times it was like two or three times for me and it's really hard to get used to this system that you know uh, you have all the characters that you want to abuse uh, the Odin force buff and use multiple rotations inside but here you prefer doing only two rotations and doing two rotations that gonna have great impact and have a lot of adds close to the boss as you can see here in the first half of the fight I have already done 5.2 million which is really impressive you know passing the 6 million small collection token reward already here I left some ads and I'm losing damage here I'm bleeding damage here because I would do another rotation before that and I'm losing it so I could do one extra rotation easy peasy but yeah it is what it is as i told you it's not a perfect fight but shows you the style that you need to use every single time here i missed a fifth skill uh but yes because you don't actually need your tier threes that doesn't uh have huge impact on your rotations you're losing some damage but yeah i have lose at the moment half a million cause of bad decisions and bad rotations uh but still you can see 6.5 and i'm not even in the last phase that i i have the audience might and look at this how this is gonna pop up but the point is that with loki you need to do on the odin force like two or three perfect rotations if you manage to do that and perfect rotation talking about something uh having the boss with full ads you're done you don't actually need anything else you just need that and you can see here i did 7.98 7.98 for a character being level 80 it's something unique and i had only the same thing with luna snow so at level 80 he's competing with luna snow on the damage he's pulling at uh the day that he can uh, you know it, it's not again it's not the rest no restriction day it's a level 80 character that I'm using him for the villain uh, villain alien. And the, the only other villain alien that there exists right now in the game and you can play with, it's Thanos. And Thanos is a character that has great PvP value. So now most of the people that had him uh, for PvE gonna turn him into PvP, at least the whales, you know and because of that loki is going to get great value he feels way better than my thanos at level 80 at least because i have thanos level 80 it's one of the things i haven't done thanos and black bolt tier 4 so yeah it's bad but now with loki i can have both of a uh, you know black bolt and thanos days uh, by him so 7.98 was not doable by my thanos i was doing max 7 million on the perfect runs you know 6.8 6.9 7 million max thanos is way easier to play and way more random you know you can spam skills you can uh, proc on your fourth skill it's really simple to play way easier way more durable than loki he's not uh, there's no chance he's going to die 
but yeah, Loki tier 3 level 80 feels to be the guy that, uh, you know, can save you from having Thanos PV. You want him PvP, you can still have your Loki at level 80 and do a lot of damage with him. I'm not sure about his performance at tier 4, that's why I'm gonna tier 4 him and take the risk and see what else he can do. But at the moment, at level 80, he's performing really, really, really good. As for the other day uh, of uh, ABL that he can use, I pretty much did exactly the same rotation, exactly the same plan. As you can see, uh, I was trying to avoid uh, using my skills without having ads. I was running around again. Uh, the same thing, the same plan, but you can see I'm struggling with ads. Ads still can one-shot you, so you need to run and avoid getting hit from all of them, uh, or else they're gonna kill you. Uh, they add the damage reduction on his kit, but still he's super fragile, nothing close to Thanos. With Thanos, you could stand still there and do damage. With Black Bolt, same thing, you're healing a lot, so it doesn't really matter. Loki is super fragile, but in the same time, if you manage to pull out the rotations exactly like I'm doing right now, you're gonna have great results. And you can see here, it's like uh, the stage that I need to use, Universal Mail, the best team up I find out, it's Thanos and Ghost Panther as a support. Ghost Panther support all the characters it's not only the fire damage that he provides for the fire characters and you can see here it's a clear 8 million for this day so yeah it's it's insane dropping 8 million with a level 80 on these stages i am doing 9.5 maximum with my ghost rider tier 4 on this stage and it's weird, it's weird. I just tier 4 Ghost Rider and I was like, at least I'm gonna have him for this day. But as it seems, Loki is going to eclipse him as Loki going to be tier 4. So I know that there, there are a lot of non-believers there for ABX and ABL that they are not, don't, still don't care after all these rewards we're getting. They still don't care a lot about ABX and ABL. And let me show you the core game mode of Marvel Future Fight, which is World Boss Legend. Look at this. Level 80, Ultron, and uh, I'm doing the ABX and ABL rotation again but yeah probably you should abuse your tier 3 more because if i had dropped my tier 3 here i would be able to not let uh, loki charge his bar and do his uh, next phase faster but yeah you wanna you wanna use your skills way more than before you don't wanna wait as abl and abx because on abl and abx you are waiting for the ads to come for World Boss Legend, you don't want to wait. You just want to drop skills and especially for Ultron because when you are not hitting him, he's charging uh, this Enrage bar. You want to use your skills as many times as you want. And uh, doing your tier 3 here and let it drop doesn't really matter. On ABL and ABX, you are not using your tier 3 because the tier 3 is going to start killing the adds and you're gonna lose the ball up damage from your fifth skill. So the point here is to save your fifth skill on every single time on ABL and ABX and have targets around. For World Boss Legend, you don't care about that because there are not ads, at least on uh, at the moment, you know, there is no uh, boss with ads. So for ABL, for ABL and ABX, you have another plan. For World Boss Legend, you should have another plan and you should care about uh, dropping skills way more than ABL and ABX because that skills helps you uh, build tier 3s, helps you have the boss on check, you know, especially Ultron and the other boss in the same time want to get hit, you know, <laughs> so the more hits you do, the better for you. Of course, you want to have your proc and your rage proc inside your fourth skill every single time, you know, there is no doubt about that, but dropping a tier 3 in between rotations gonna help you to build, uh, you know, more consistent on the damage you're gonna drop to the boss. Look at this, the tier 3 is there just to do some damage, and when I'm doing my normal rotation, uh, the damage is dropping way faster than with the tier 3. It's not the perfect run, as you saw, Ultron went into an raid and raids phase already, so I lost some time during that phase, and in the same time, 
as you can see here i'm already in the last phase and i am in the middle of the fight time wise it's like two minutes and 20 seconds left and he has only the last phase to go through this last phase takes too long because you have only some periods of time to do damage so the better the more time you have the better for you and as you can see i needed the time uh because i f up with uh, one support you're gonna see actually i don't want to spoil it for you but yes i'm dying once here with one support but yeah you can see here i'm dropping my rotation i'm letting him to go into uh the phase that he goes i'm dropping my tier 3 there just to be sure uh that the tier 3 is gonna keep hitting him but i get uh caught by the time freeze there so i lost a lot of damage from that uh because he's going against into the enrage phase now and i don't have the period of time that he's staying stunned uh to do and let me do some damage after that i was super careful as you can see i wasn't risking it at all i was trying to be legit and don't uh lose you know another support and i was like on six bars uh, with my rotation as you can see the damage is not flows that much if you don't have uh, targets around you and if you are not perfect on your rotation on your proc and stuff like that the bars are go slower way slower but you can see it's completely doable with a level 80 with the raids uh, cdp doing world boss legend stage 80 of course it's a brilliant raids but in the same time you can you know you can see my gameplay it's not like the best gameplay you could save time using uh proper other ways you know drop more tier threes and have better proc every single time but you can see here 30 seconds for left for a level 80 with not the perfect run it's a win for me loki is completely dismantling world boss legend and of course he has a weakness not having any special tags uh, like other characters has uh, but still this is really impressive for gbr i'm using him uh, with green goblin leadership and valkyr as a support and he's not impressive at all it's not like uh, a situation like miles morales that i was seeing a miles flying through the content or something uh cause of the same problem you know there is not ads to get extra damage from your fifth skill uh there is not something special that you're getting advantage on this stage for loki so it's kind of lame playing with him on gbr but in the same time he's no joke as you can see i managed to do uh a full i went into the 20 bar 22 bars here and i have like one minute and 40 seconds left for some people this could be impressive for some others could not be impressive but it is what it is and i guess as tier 4 i can compete compare him with other tier 4s and have better results to see but here you know it's an average it's an average damage dealer for gbr it's not perfect or something 100 percent but he is good as being a universal also he can get advantage of every single day of gbr and do extra damage so here we are with loki and uh, him as level 80 and i'm ready to tier for him i feel i i am so afraid of that uh, i'm gonna get softed by the rng i was so lucky on black friday i was so lucky on the gambling I'm lucky on the last two tier fours back in the back. I spent like 5,000 carbonadium, 5,300 the other day. So everything goes perfect for me right now. So I was afraid to press the buttons. I have like 7,510 carbonadium. And the last time on the live stream, you helped a lot with uh, the RNG. So I'm dropping the tier four advancement on the video just because I'm afraid to do it myself. So let's cross finger and let's see how lucky i'm going to be with this bad boy and yes let's see also what rank i am right now i'm like 1347 rank and what rank i'm going to be after do him tier 4 uh, and something extra i want to mention i took his artifact uh from a selector a four star selector 
So I'm gonna equip his artifact after I tier 4 him I'm gonna test him as a tier 4 against the best tier 4s I have But I'm gonna test him with and without the artifact So in the next video I'm gonna drop like 1 or 2 days after this uh, I'm gonna show you what he's doing with or without his artifact at tier 4 So let's not delay anymore and let's go Let's go, Gronz figures guys Less than 20 is a win. Less than 20 is a win. Remember that. Of course, single digits is a super win, but yeah. Let's see. Let's see what it goes. 9, 14, 3. 3 is nice. 8, 4. Okay, 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 okay. The RNG didn't drop me. The RNG didn't drop me. Okay, it's 800 for the first gear. And first gear could be way more brutal, bro. It's really nice. Two. Four. 17. Okay, okay. 18. Okay, relax. Chill, chill. 23. Okay. 123. One more than 20 at the moment. Feels really nice, to be honest. I have spent 2,300 carbonadium. So the second gear cost me like double the cost of the first gear which is really rare because the first gear takes you uh, takes more carbonadium from you you can see uh depending oh what the last gear takes only 14 i thought the last was expensive also okay okay so yeah the 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 worst was 23 at the moment seven single digits 11 okay okay 15 chill another 15 no another more than 20 okay it's not that bad guys it's not that bad at the moment i have spent uh 3800 3800 carbonadium at the moment and yes if this goes only single digits or maximum 1 20 and more gear it's gonna be nice i haven't seen any 30s and <coughs> i don't want to see any 30s guys cross fingers again and let's go into that bro let's go four okay 10 nice 11 oh 21 Ugh. 27 oh no back to back uh 220s and let's see how many i did spend right now okay okay let's do the other thing first so i can see the advancement page where it's easier to calculate how much i did spend okay life seeds it's for life i mean i have a lot of them i don't need to uh, think about them at all and let's see uh it's is, it, is he ready yeah yeah bro okay it was five thousand it was five thousand cost only for gears uh okay so five thousand eight hundred total cost it's legit it's it's a win i mean for me yeah i've seen more than six thousand i've seen more than seven thousand so yes completely win another win for rng and me energy attack 91000 91000 okay okay bro this is nice and uh, yeah i'm gonna uh, i'm curious to see how my uh, how much luna has right now and it's again the tier 3 okay but it's really nice still it's really nice okay okay he just destroyed thor okay tier 4 number 15 on my account let's flex to my alliance who has luck now who has luck now so cool of course take some time for uh the rank thing to count the you know the place that i am right now with my tier 4 loki so let's see i'm really curious how my gene looks like 9.8 for my Zin, and my Zin has also full Odin's blessing, so yeah, and let's see Luna, 9.7, so he's kind of behind than the super meta characters, 
Magneto 9.7. So he's like 6,000 behind my top meta characters, but yeah, I'm looking forward to convert. Okay, run 289 still. This higher for uh, this uh, rank and still after I tier for him, I was expecting uh, less than 100 because I have the obelisk, I have the Elden's blessing. But yeah, I'm missing one uniform. I'm considering buying uniform for him just to increase my growth score now. It, I know it's a well thing and so lame, but yes, lucky guys, God of free to play 100%. He's the goat and totally worth building if you're actually missing tier 4 black bolt and tier 4 thanos if you come one of these two the value you're getting on abl and abx drops way more but you can see he has value for world boss legend because of his tagging he has value for gbr because of his being universal so yeah we're gonna talk about how easy he farms also in the other video you know dimension rifts but yeah that's for now Hope you enjoyed, hope you helped me decide if you're gonna build him or not. See you into the next kisses in your faces!